Guys, that was just unacceptable last time. You embarrassed me in front of everybody. I look like a fool, and I want much, much better from you today. No, Ashley Young, you're not playing. Fine, mate. Transfer request accepted. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to Aston Villa. It is FM23, the beta series, and today we have a Carabao Cup, a third round tie against Arsenal, and then the final game before the World Cup break against Leicester City. So two big games, hopefully we get some revenge on Arsenal for our hammering uh, last time we faced them. And the news since last episode is that Ashley Young has left. Well, he hasn't left as of yet. He will be leaving January 1st. He's off to Olympiacos. Uh, the fee isn't really, it's nominal. It's 170 grand plus a little bit of an add-on there. Uh, the main thing here is that we get 80 grand off the wage budget. And I mean, he wasn't really playing. He's still a decent player. He just wasn't really playing. So I've not really too concerned to be losing him, to be honest. So uh, that will happen January 1st. And uh, the World Cup, obviously, is around the corner. And we have five players that are going. Oli Watkins with England. Uh, Bednarek and Cash with uh, Poland. We've got Martinez in goal for Argentina. And Coutinho will be going with Brazil. So congratulations to all of those guys. Now, there are three games to catch you up on since last episode. And what a disaster that was. Uh, the first game was against Newcastle. We looked to rebound from our hammerings. Against, well, Liverpool wasn't too bad, but Arsenal and uh, Manchester City certainly were. Let's see how we did against uh, the Toon. We took the lead when Chambers found Despotov. Newcastle pulled level. But Coutinho had us ahead at half time. Newcastle pulled level again. Before Despotov picked out Coutinho to restore our lead. And Ming sealed the points. So a result that flatters us, we were really clinging on defensively. You can see from the XG tracker there, Newcastle had far more of the chances, but we took ours. And that ultimately is what matters, isn't it? So we got the win. Coutinho with a nice free kick there. Despotov, of course, he played well. He always does. And uh, Tyrone Mings coming off the bench. We went with a new back two of uh, Dan Donka and Kamara. And I wouldn't say they were rock solid. In fact, I'd almost go as far as to say they were leaky at Got away with it, though, as that's all that matters. Uh, all right, the next game, it was Everton. Augustitson crossed for Ings to get the only goal. So this was almost the opposite of the Newcastle game. We should have won this game by many, many more. Ings, uh, as you can see there, missed a penalty just before half time. Thankfully, we were able to overcome that. Uh, Konza and Dan Donka were the defensive duo in this one. Augustinson, uh, Augustinson. I really struggle with that name, don't I, among others. <laughs> but uh, he played well. He's doing a really good job at left back. Digna's just on a little bit of a downer form, and it's difficult to drop him at this point. So Digna may be on a little bit of a spell on the bench. But very, very good. And uh, the final game to catch up on was against a struggling Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest went in front early on. Ings won possession and blasted us level. Before Coutinho found Watkins to seal the win. Remember when I was trying to force Watkins out of the club? What an idiot I was there. Uh, Denny Ings at times carrying us as well. He had a goal disallowed, as you can see. But it was a game that uh, we made hard work of. But ultimately, again, we deserved to win. You can see again on the XG tracker, late on in the game, uh, we really put our foot down. And it, it was almost, uh, it felt like a matter of time before the goal came. And in the 81st minute, it did. So that was excellent. Now, let's check the league table. And we have undone most of the damage that we caused last episode. We are back to being just a point outside the top four in fifth. Joint on points with Arsenal and Southampton, who have fallen away a little bit. Crystal Palace still right up there. Manchester United as well. So it is, um, it's, it's a, well, it's a very, very tight league if you take the top two out of it, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, even the United is only the two point, uh, three points, sorry, ahead of us. So all the way down there to Chelsea in 11th. Now, Chelsea have sacked their manager, um, Potter has been sacked. I think John Terry was in a caretaker role there. Uh, so their managers are falling very, very quickly. And Spurs down there in 14th as well. They have almost, well, they have lost touch as things stand right now. Uh, so let's go and see what we're doing here. It is Arsenal in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Is it a competition we're taking particularly seriously? I mean, the board don't seem to think so. They want us to be competitive. We're expecting a 4-2-3-1 from Arsenal. 
And this is a team we're sending out. I would rather win the lead, uh, the lead, the lead game against Leicester than this one. Uh, but it's Martinez in goal, Digna, Mings, Konza, and Chambers as a back four. Dan Donka in behind uh, Ming, uh, McGinn, and Sanson in midfield. I was talking about Sanson last episode. I think it was last. I think it was last episode. There he is. There he's a very, very good uh, footballer. It's just we don't see him in real life. He's always injured, so I think it's a little bit difficult to. I don't say take him seriously, but to you know treat him as a, as a first-team player. Uh, Buendia and Cole Palmer will be providing the width. It'll be the new man, Arezzo, getting the start up front. Uh, let's hope that he can uh, he can come in and, well, make us all fall instantly in love with him. All right, so we can see the team sheets there. It looks a fairly strong Arsenal team, although they do have their backup goalkeeper in. But outside of that, it's not too different to the team that we face in the league. And, uh, well, the less said about that game, the better. All right, well, let's try and shut a few people up. Let's go with that. We'll fist pump, go out there, make the difference. And yeah, hopefully some fringe players here take their chance. All right, and here we go. It's a little bit of a different uh, sort of layout here for the Carabao Cup as well. It's obviously a licensed competition. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm looking to see. I want Digna, Mings, and Consart. I mean, they are all, if not out of favor, certainly not particularly in favor. So they need to have big games here. Um, be good to see Buendia put out a nice performance. Sanson's another one that needs a good performance, and I don't really know what's happened there, but we've got away with it. Buendia now with a chance to come forward, and can he pick out a Rezo? No, Tierney has picked his pocket, and where's this highlight going? It's been a bit of a long one, but it ends, thankfully for us, without Arsenal scoring. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, work to do now defending a corner. We have worked on defending corners because we haven't looked particularly good from them. Uh, I might need to... I might need to go back and just check our marking assignments. Uh, of course, we've been a little bit in and out with Sanson's injured again. Well, they've got that right from real life, haven't they? Uh, all right, well, let's go with... Do we go with Coutinho? Do we go with Kamara and move Dan Donka forward? Can, is it, can he be a creative player? Not really. Uh, let me think. Okay, so what we might do, we'll bring Ollie Watkins on, we'll move Buendia back, and because we've got a deep lying forward, what we might do is we'll go inside forwards on attack for Palmer and for Col yeah, and for Watkins, and just see if we can if we can cause a little bit of trouble there. Uh, we don't. I, ideally, I, I want to keep Coutinho and uh, Douglas Luiz fresh. Uh, we don't really have anybody in the under 21s that's going to you know come in and and be worthy of giving game time to without it being sort of forced a little bit. Uh, the other option we maybe have is to go to two up top, but um, yeah, no, we've we've done this now, so no point uh, worrying about it. Yeah, all right, we can win the match. Keep working hard. We'll go with that. We'll fist pump, and I mean, you understand why you were subbed off. You didn't give me a choice, mate. That's why you got subbed off. I wonder if he's one of those players that, uh, what, what was the word? Remember uh, when, I think was it uh, Sturridge was sort of, uh, what's the word? I, accused, I guess, of being very sensitive to injuries. I think it was probably Mourinho. Sounds like Mourinho would have said, maybe at Chelsea. I wonder if, uh, if, if Sanson's a little bit, oh, Brendia gives it away. I wonder if he's a little bit in the same sort of boat as that. And, uh, well... That's a miss, isn't it? We'll tell them to focus. One thing we have done is look a little bit better defensively, though they've dominated the game. I wonder if... Uh, I wonder if we try and raise up our tempo. Possession's roughly even, but we're not really creating too much with that possession. And we've got a corner to defend now. Let's see if we can do this. Have we worked enough on this on training? And maybe we have. But Smith Rowe comes forward. Nobody goes out to him. Come on, guys. Let's, we'll try and encourage. Let's be positive. You know, for a second string side against a fairly strong Arsenal team, this isn't too bad. But of course, it doesn't matter if you lose. And we've gone and conceded from a corner anyway. All right. Well, let's go. Uh, let's go attack them now. Uh, we'll just switch Buendia and Dan Donka, and that can all stay the same. Inverted wing up, and we'll go attacking. 
and uh, unfortunately I've missed who it was that was at fault for that goal, but let's try a demand more now. And yeah, it's... We've not threatened them, have we? Which is maybe, I mean, the, the formation we were playing, we were sort of sitting back a little bit more, but it'd still be nice to have the occasional threat. McGinn wins that back for us. Nice early ball forward there for Palmer. Palmer gets it forward for Arezzo. Arezzo is in. Can he get himself a goal? He can! Matthias Arezzo gets his second of the season. And we have equalised. Well, we'll keep going with this. Uh, we're playing this way and see if we can go and get a winner now. It's a first goal. Uh, well, it's not a first goal because I think he actually scored in the first round of the Carabao Cup we were in. He got a penalty. We were playing uh, Newport, wasn't it? And a good finish. The goalkeeper, a little bit flat-footed perhaps, but he was terribly exposed. And we've got another corner to defend. Can we do this properly? That is away by Konza. Watkins goes out. And let's see if he can stop the cross coming in now. He can't, but Digna's well-positioned. Oh, I thought that was going to fall for Buendia then. Not quite. Though. McGinn can't quite get the... Oh, Digna, you absolute moron. I mean, it wasn't even a trip or an attempted tackle. He literally pushed him over. What an idiot. Ken Martinez. We have a decent record of saving penalties this season. I think it would go straight to penalties if uh, we were to sort of get past extra time, uh, get past uh, the 90 minutes level. But can you believe what just happened there? We'll bring uh, Gilbert on to play right back. Uh, he's a little bit more attacking minded. But I cannot believe what Digna did there. Literally pushed him over. We can't really complain. We've been second best throughout the game. But there's ways to lose, isn't there? And just stupidity is not a good way to lose. I can't, I can't believe that. Uh, I don't like what I just saw. That was disappointing. So there are the other results. Uh, do we see any major upsets there? Not really, I don't think. No. So Chambers suffers defeat against former team. I mean, the good news is that we're getting closer. It's three weeks injury for Sanson. Um, well, that's disappointing. Carabao Cup is done for the year. Wait right there, though. We'll be back to face Leicester in the league. Okay, welcome back. Let's uh, try and get a win, which has been a little bit of time on YouTube now since we had a win, isn't it? Uh, now you can see there's a lot of games that are in place. Uh, Tottenham's new manager is Thomas Tuchel, so a little bit of a merry-go-round going in the managerial uh, ranks. And uh, yeah, a few surprises perhaps in that uh, Brentford, uh, it's, I don't know, what was the one I saw? Um, oh, there it is, Forest beating Man United. So hopefully if that stays we can take advantage of that but we need to win our own game uh we're expecting a 4-3-3 from Leicester and this is the team that we are sending out it's Martinez in goal Augustinson uh Kamara Konza and Cash as the back four it is McGinn and Luis in midfield Buendia Coutinho and Despotov over on the left hand side for this one in behind the great goal scorer that is Denny Ings Okay, so we can see the team sheets there. Marcelo Bielsa is the new Leicester manager. Uh, some good players in that team, but I'd like to think we could get the better of them. Um, we're on a good run here. Let's. Are we on a good run? I mean, we are in the league, I suppose, aren't we? Let's just enjoy ourselves today, boys. We're away from home, so we've got an attacking lineup out there. Just enjoy it. All right, and here we are. I mean, what's one of these, isn't it? Away from home, if you if you get a draw, it's never a bad point in the Premier League. But ideally, we'll uh, get back to winning ways here. Um, I feel like we're a little bit short in midfield just now. Jacob Ramsey has uh, picked up an injury, so he's not available for this one. Obviously, Sanson is out from uh, from last game. And, yeah, we're maybe maybe just one, one player short there. I mean, Kamara playing as a defender is maybe not helping that. Um, but, yeah, I just wonder if that's something we could do during the World Cup break. I feel like we almost need a complete rebuild of the defence. I don't know what is wrong. Oh, that's gone through everybody, has it? Ings will pick it up. We haven't got many players forward. And uh, Leicester play it out from the back. And we're not going to let Vardy get that, are we? Manny Cash is there. Manny Cash has been mugged. And, well, this is suddenly looking like a little bit of trouble for us. And it's come from absolutely nothing. And how has that happened to us? There was nothing on. It all came from a clearance. 
and Matty Cash getting caught. I honestly want to just sell every defender at this club and start again. And that's probably not the way to do it. But I just feel like we are in absolute shambles at the back. And we, we can't do any more defensive training. Like, there's only so many hours in a day, guys. Come on. We've got a corner now. Can we get to that? Oh, I thought that was in as well. When Dia is looking anxious and nervous and all these things. Come on, guys. I wonder if I'm a little bit guilty with Matt Cash of, again, not playing the game and playing the, the you know, the real-life player. He's not been particularly good. I wonder if Callum Chambers should be the man we have playing over there. Despotov, can he get to that? No, we're not challenging them for anything. They're winning every ball. Okay, Cash. I think I've seen enough from you, mate. You can go and have a break. Uh, where's Chambers? Uh, the other thing we might change is let's 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 step up more. They score a lot of their goals from through balls, which is why we were standing off trying to you know drop into the space so they could, they don't have a through ball to play. Um, but that's not working clearly. Coutinho gets it wide, looking for Despotov. Be interesting to see how he goes over on that left hand side. Uh, we're just a little bit short of a player out there. Bailey's coming back from injury still. He's just back. And Ollie Watkins is tied. So uh, we needed somebody to play out there. And we I thought I thought we'd give him a chance and see how he goes. Crossing to the box. August Tenson is uh, there, but not really. And that has fallen for Martinez in goal. We haven't had a shot as of yet. All right, so let's stop passing into space. You can see from the match momentum, it's it has it's not been massively in Leicester's favour, but it has been in Leicester's favour throughout the game. There's a good ball for Ings. Nice first touch. It's half cleared away. Augustinson for Despotov, and he's got another one, a ninth of the season. He's the best signing I've ever made. Nine goals before the World Cup break. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And, uh, well, let's give them some praise for that. Level before half time. Ings did really well. It was a good ball from David Luiz to find him as well. And then it was just a little bit of uh, disarray, really, in the Leicester defence. Augustinson's header was uh, decent. Augustinson, his name reminds me of, is it, the, is it Waterboy? Or, no, what's the Adam Sandler movie where it's like he makes up a tell, she makes up a, a town name. It's just like all the, like, Viltonston that one and uh it, its name just reminds me of that it's like they've just added every scandinavian thing onto the end of his name there's a good ball in for louise oh and he's got a second of the season a second of the game for us and we've turned it around before half time and it's augustinson again wonderful wonderful play was it mcginn with the ball out to find him and takes a touch takes his time and what about that first time from Douglas Louise? The goalkeeper will want that back, won't he? But despite being outplayed for most of the first half, we find ourselves 2-1 up at half time. Look at that. We've mugged them off there. That is, they would be spitting chips. Uh, all right. Let's, uh, no complacency, please, boys. That's uh, not really gone the way I was hoping. Obviously, that is maybe not the team talk to be doing in this version of the game. I can't do my standard go-to. What am I going to... Ah, this is going to kill me. All right. Well, let's give them some praise. And uh, the body language is not good. <laughs> should have should have kept my mouth shut at halftime. And we've got a highlight here. Can we get a third goal to bring some belief back? Despotov. Despotov. It's going to roll in. Oh, that is unlucky for Leicester. Oh, his thing's offside. Oh, it's one of those, the goalkeeper and the defender are almost standing next to each other. Is it going to stand? No, it's not. Danny Ings got a touch. Would it have gone in anyway? Did he get... Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter now, but it... Yeah, that's a... That's a, that's a well, you'd be annoyed about that if you were a Villa fan and if you are a Leicester fan... You'd probably be feeling a little bit lucky. Martinez clears it upfield. Can we get ahead to that? We can't, but Luis is there to pick it up. 
Douglas Louise gets it tackled away from him. That was a good tackle. And it's sent Leicester on the attack now. Callum Chambers, can he get back? Don't give away a penalty here, please. It's uh, looping, looping, and Augustinson with a nice tackle to win it back for us. Jespertov gets it wide for Buendia. Can he play in Ings? He looks uh, wide. He finds Augustinson again. Augustinson's having a cracking game. Here we go with Jespertov. Can he, does he have a left foot at all? He's gone himself. It's there for Coutinho! And it's 3-1. What a turnaround this has been. Magnificent stuff from our villa. Side to side, front to back. And Coutinho's there at the end of it to give us a third goal in the hour mark. Despotov did well, pulled it back, and look at the finish from Coutinho. I'd pull a hamstring if I tried to do that. All right, excellent, excellent stuff. Now can we defend? And we know for a fact that we can't. Uh, McGinn, is, is he just, if he's just tied, it's McGinn. McGinn doesn't get tied, so that's fine. See what we can do here. Luis gets it wide for Callum Chambers. Chambers plays it in towards Ings. Oh, it's off the post. Augustinson, can he win it back? Not quite, but Despotov can. He gets it wide for Chambers. And that will be that. Another highlight. Augustinson gets it forward for Despotov. Despotov, heavy touch. Gets it taken away. And... Can we go and win this back? The next goal is important, isn't it? 4-1, game over. 3-2, it's game on. Konza does well and gets it forward as well for Despertov. He's done brilliantly. If he can play in Ings, it wasn't quite the perfect pass, but Ings made it good enough. And it is a 4-1 advantage for us now. Ings with his uh, eighth or ninth of the season. And Despertov and Ings are well, they're two of the best attackers in the league, surely. Konza wins the ball back and then plays it out for Despotov. And uh, what a first touch that was from Ings. Gets it out of his feet between the two defenders. And then just put it away expertly, as he uh, tends to do. Uh, all right. Well, I think we can maybe look to make some subs now. Let's, uh, let's, what do we want to do? Let me think here. Okay, so we're going to bring on some fresh legs. Uh, Digna is going to come on and play left back. Bailey is going to come on as he comes back from injury and uh, play out wide in place of uh, Buendia. And uh, Despotov is going to go over to the right. And we're going to give McGinn a rest and bring Dan Donker on to play in place of him. And that should still leave us with one more sub to make. We'll give them some praise. And uh, can we find ourselves another goal to complete the route? Despotov picks up a loose pass. Chambers loses out to Madison. Vardy picks it up and exchanges passes. And Konza does well to get back. Konza's having a really, really good game here, isn't he? And uh, yeah, if we can just get here, if we can get him and Mings playing well together, I mean, they're both very good defenders. Ings working hard as well. Love to see that. But for whatever reason, I just cannot get anything out of Ings other than a mistake. I feel like Steven Gerrard in that respect. And, oh, that's just over. We definitely need to still work on our worst set pieces, don't we? We do not look particularly good from those, but we look good everywhere else. 4-1 is the final score. Despotov with a 10. Well, there's a game for you. And uh, Augustinson was quite good as well. Well done, everybody. We can go and enjoy the World Cup as winners. So there we go. We can see the other results and we are going to the World Cup break in the top four. Joint on points with Arsenal, but in the top four nonetheless. And actually joint with Man United as well, who did lose to Nottingham Forest. There's an upset. So Aston Villa take their chance. Officials, we won't be using those as excuses, says Bielsa. And Despotov, a goal, two assists. He is just a very, very good player. He plays on the left, he plays on the right. He can do either. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. So that will be do it for today. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if, of course, you are new. And we'll be back after the World Cup to face Brighton and Tottenham. And, of course, it is a Thomas Tuchel coach Tottenham side these days. Until then, I've been Aussie Villain. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.